everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Eyes. I got a video game themed run today. You might not be able to tell by the Moo Moo, but this is actually a Legend of Zelda themed run. So, what do we have here that makes us linkish? First off, I took Samson. By the way, this was suggested by YouTube user Seanwer LP. Perhaps European is my guess, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But in any case, uh, I'm playing as Samson because he looks the most linkish. Uh, I have Cube of Meat, which is going to function basically as our Navi, if you will. Or Navi? I always forget it. Yeah, it's probably Navi. Anyway, you know, hey, look, listen. Uh, Mom's Knife, which is going to function as our Master Sword. And the hook here is that we can only use Mom's Knife as a projectile if we have full health, which is, you know, a Legend of Zelda mechanic uh, from many games. Or basically, if you have full health, you have an extra ability on your sword, which can sometimes let you do ranged attacks. Um... It, he suggested we start with 10 bombs, but I actually just gave myself the bomb bag instead, which seems way more Zelda-ish. Uh, we have Skeleton Key, which he calls the Master Key, which is good. And I believe uh, Blue Candle here is meant to represent, like, Din's Fire or something. Uh, so we're only going to be able to use this once per room. And the conditions of this run, because the conditions of this run are fairly important. No item rooms are allowed, because we're already... Uh, very powerful enough in our own right. Very powerful enough? I used to be an English teacher. No, we're very powerful in our own right. Uh, and the other condition uh, that is going to make a, a tangible impact on this run is there is no uh, deals with the devil allowed because Link's a nice dude, you know? So I, I'm thinking we're going to be strong. I picked Samson for a few reasons. One of them being that he's, I mean, the major one being that he looks the most like Link. Uh, the other ones being that he starts a little bit lower on health, which I think is good because uh, this run seems a little bit powerful. Obviously, we're not going to be, get, be able to get rid of the blue candle, not that I mind that. Um, but the other thing is, uh, yeah, starting a little bit lower on health is good. Uh, the reliance on spirit hearts for a little while means we're kind of unlikely to have to uh, use Mom's Knife as merely like a melee weapon anytime soon. At least I hope, <laughs> but we'll try to make that happen. Obviously, spirit hearts are just additional uh, health upgrades, so they don't count in the, the full health or not full health. Uh, list in my requirements in my opinion, but also uh, rage seems like a solid upgrade So I'm hoping this will be an interesting and balanced run the pill that gives us uh, Absolutely nothing is not gonna help us out too much. We might as well just kind of speed through these floors I mean shops are going to be important uh, But we don't have nearly enough money yet and probably never will now. Here's an interesting uh, Point if this red pill ends up being good, which it's not uh, that could have been a good coin purse Let's hope these ones balance it out Pretty fly, that's fairly solid, and telepills, which has taken us two rooms away, which is not really that big of a deal. Okay, so I think we're ready to leave the cellar part two. So far, so good. Definitely wanting to get some more HP upgrades. Uh, sadly, those are not in the cards right now, and we will uh, try to get deals with the angels, because that kind of seems like the fairy room, you know? Getting a deal with the angel uh, allows you to, you know, get something that will improve your chances for success. Maybe not in the same order as something like a deal with the devil would, but... You know, we're, we're dealing with what we've got right now, and as of right now, this is feeling like one of those runs where, you know, things are going to start out fairly easy, but go off the rails very, very quickly, especially due to the insane lack of health we have right now. We might as well open every golden chest that we come across, because Lord knows we have the keys, and it's going to be one of the only ways for us to get items, as item rooms are inaccessible. So getting growth hormones there, the ability to get extra speed and range is awesome. The range, hopefully, will not end up being a non-issue. And by that, I mean hopefully I will continue to stay at full health for as long as possible so I can make good use of this range uh, that we've actually benefited a lot from so far. I mean, getting range upgrades always important when you have uh, a projectile ability, of course. Now, remember, we can only use... I think I used Candle more than once on a couple of fights, and if so, I apologize for that. It's hard to remember, man, because my brain is so programmed to just spam it constantly. Uh, you know what? It's almost worth opening up these shops, and I wish I'd done it earlier. Just in case we fight greed, because that would actually give us enough money in one quick burst uh, to be able to go to more shops in the future. So here's what I'm thinking here. Candle didn't really work, but it probably did enough damage to take him out easily like so. More bombs is good news for everybody involved, and we'll just continue moving onwards here. Again, if I've used the candle more than uh, I'm supposed to, I apologize for that. It was not meant to be malicious, just a little bit of an oversight on my, my part. Uh, be careful there, we're still alive. I really would love to pick up the relic or the miter. Uh, as, as I would love to basically every single time when I'm playing the Binding of Isaac, but even more so than usual in these cases, uh, because I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to survive somehow, and those would, you know, go a long way towards helping me out. Item rooms, as mentioned, are inaccessible for us. Bad gas, not the world's greatest pill. We're going to hold on to the Empress, probably save that as long as possible. Sadly, didn't really get enough money to make judgment worthwhile, but that's okay. We'll play peep here. Hit him with the candle once, and then take my finger off the space bar for all of eternity. 
Uh, make sure we're doing some good damage here. Stay off of the creep. And try to earn a deal with the angel, hopefully. Now, just keep it up. One more should do it. We get a spirit heart and an HP upgrade and a deal with the angel. Sometimes troll engine's just on your side, man. So we're gonna see what we get here. Hopefully sacred heart, but we'll see. It's a rare one. Scapular, you know, scapular's pretty bad, but... You gotta get bad items from deals with the angels sometimes before you can get good ones. I mean, that doesn't really make sense, but what I'm trying to get at is, if we're looking on the bright side, uh, at least Scapular is not going to appear in any more deal with the angel rooms. At least we know what we're dealing with now, and at the very least we'll be getting a better item later, even if it is only Celtic Cross or something, which is not substantially better. Do we know what this pill does yet? No. Uh, Balls of Steel would be awesome. Range down is not a huge deal, but uh, it leaves a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth, obviously. Eternal Heart is fantastic. Hopefully we'll be able to make that work. And so far, I've gotten pretty lucky so far. Not great items. Oh, oh, that almost hit me. Not great items uh, and not, like, insanely overpowered. Although, you know, Mom's Knife Blue Candle is obviously a nice touch. Uh, but so far, I've, I haven't even come close to being in a position where I wouldn't be at full health. And that's where things are really going to get bad for us. If I start losing Red Hearts uh, and put myself in a position where... Uh, we're gonna have to like use mom's knife as a melee only weapon that's where things are gonna get real tough like things are gonna suck and then they're gonna suck even harder but for now we are totally fine with respect to how this run is working navi is actually shooting at other people it might it might be navy right like i i think i feel like i'm saying navi because of the professional you know esports organization that is perhaps most famous for being real good at Dota 2. I can't believe I let myself take damage there. That was real silly. Almost did it again. Um, yeah, we will go to the shop. Again, this is exactly what I want. I just want to fight greed. Uh, and bang on the drum all day. Uh, let me just back it up a little bit. Don't get hit too much. Money is worth something, but... I don't think it's worth losing, you know, the possibility of having this eternal heart just to get a few cents. We'll see, though. We could earn uh, some more money even by finishing this room. Maybe he'll drop the quarter or something. I kind of doubt it. No, we do get a second eternal heart, which is actually not that effective uh, in this situation. But at the very least, it does make it so uh, I don't have to worry so much uh, about getting this one to the absolute end. In any case, solid room. I can't believe we just got a key out of that spirit heart. That's disappointing. Might as well kill at least one of those guys like so. And cube of meat, you can finish us off here. Actually, get in the cube of meat here. By the way, cube of meat finish us off had a vaguely sexual overtone that I didn't mean. Um, but the other good thing about getting the single cube of meat, even though it doesn't do that much damage, uh, having that available means if we do end up having to use Mom's Knife as a melee weapon only, at least we do still have some way to deal damage to enemies over a longer range, which is awesome. At least gives us a better chance of success, I would think. Oh my god, I let myself get hit in the worst way possible. Umbilical cord! Not the world's greatest trinket, but, uh, you know, we're, we're far from being in a position where I have to complain about trinkets because we're doing totally fine. I can almost, you know, there's rooms where I'm starting to deal with these challenge rooms, or not challenge rooms, challenge runs, uh, in weird ways. Like, I'm starting to realize the value of using Mom's Knife as a melee weapon uh, in certain situations. Like, when you're fighting fistulas sometimes, or when you're fighting spiders, it's oftentimes better to just keep Mom's Knife kind of like melee only so that there's no period where an enemy can actually get close to you and then all you have to do is actually face them uh, we're gonna try not to take very much damage here because i'm running low on spirit arts hopefully my point made sense even though it was articulated it up oh, i'm just gonna fire this way because i accidentally used it more than once um i kind of articulated it in maybe the worst way possible but hopefully you understand what i'm saying here uh we're gonna get a crate which is great more spirit arts just don't that was so shitty I was like, I can't get out of there because I'm surrounded on all sides by things that will cause me to Zelda them, I guess appropriately so, over our head. Uh, but Bloody Penny, yes, definitely more effective than what we had before. Death or Empress? You know, it's a shame that we're going to have to abandon the Death card, but I think the Empress card is more valuable. Samson's Lock actually is awesome for us. I wonder if that gives us, like, double rage all the way across the sky. In any case, onwards down to Necropolis 1. Now, I'm really just going to be hoping to continue my ability to have full health. If that makes sense. Let's fire some blue candle in here and finish this. Uh, well, that didn't really work. But we finished that room off without any problems. Uh, fuck that chest. Not interested. Again, we'll fire the candle in appropriately here. And like so. Okay, now we can leave, so we might as well. There's our item room, which we don't want. And, oh, oh okay, now we're in a position where pretty... <laughs> okay, this is crazy. Stop firing for a second. 
Pretty soon we're not gonna have full health anymore. Oh, I got that spirit heart now, so never mind, apparently. But again, this is what I'm trying to say, where things, if they start going wrong, could continue to go wrong uh, in, in a very bad way. That was a nice little kick there to, to do some more damage to Wrath, who will be dead very, very shortly. And he's gone, we get one bomb! One bomb for that mini-boss fight! Seems a little bit crazy to me. But you know, I, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about the efficacy of this run. How effective I'm gonna be, how successful I'm gonna be. That was terrible damage taken against Blue Spikes, by the way. Um, but at the same time, what is The Legend of Zelda, that series of games, if not someone, you know, succeeding over perhaps insurmountable odds? That's what we're gonna try to do right here. How fitting is that? Hopefully we'll end up being able to make a, a good shop run or something. Uh, I just kinda wanna stack up Spirit Hearts like crazy. This could be a good shot. It, it at least cleared things out a little bit. Careful. More Spirit Hearts, absolutely worthwhile. Lucky Toe doesn't seem all that important to me. Uh, I didn't even fire the candle once. Oh, I did at, at the very end of the room. Okay, so we have Judgment. We're definitely gonna check him out. First things first. Uh, that's the second time we've seen a ladder in a shop. But you know what? We'll buy it. Because it could end up being beneficial for us. We have a ton of keys, so why not check this out? Uh, I was hoping we'd get Book of Revelations and then at least get one Spirit Heart for a key. But instead, we got a key for our key, which is a, a not great trade. Uh, but let's see if we can get something awesome from Judgment here. That ladder for 15 cents, not the greatest deal, but, you know, it is the second to last shop, so... I figured we might as well make use of it. Uh, battery is not useful at all with the candle. This is one of the few lo few times, a uh, few instances, I guess I should say, where... Judgment gave us a fantastic item, but it's actually totally worthless for us due to the conditions of the run. Sadly, in any case, let's continue moving onwards here. We do have another Judgment, and I'm playing these Judgments because basically I need the items that they could give me. They could end up really impacting the success of this run. I think we're ready to fight the boss, though, after this Judgment does or does not pay out. Uh, he paid out with a bomb. We're down to, you know, the nitty-gritty when it comes to our health here. And he gives us lard! That's extra HP! Unfortunately, by picking that up, now I am no longer at full health, so in order to honor the conditions of the run here, I can't use melee weapons unless I get back to full health, and we're still not quite there. Um, I don't really want to walk into the boss, so I'm going to try to, you know, finish a room up here and hopefully get some HP. But we'll see. Um, this, this is an easy enough room to take down just by walking into it, especially if no spiders spawn. We didn't get any extra health, though. We might have to do things the old-fashioned way. Uh, and take out the boss without actually using our health, and, or using it uh, as a projectile. And the problem here, I really should have beaten the boss and then backed out and gotten lard. That was a silly oversight on my part. Uh, the real problem here, beyond the fact that we're fighting one of the most difficult bosses in the game that we could possibly fight at this point, and one who creates a creep underneath him, underneath him that does a lot of damage. This is a good time to use this Empress card, for sure. Um, the real problem is we're going to take more damage as a result of having to get close to this guy. Uh, which is going to make it so it's going to be very difficult for us to get enough health back to use this projectile in the future. Or use this as a projectile in the future. But anyway, we beat him. It was less harrowing than I expected, but we are in pure melee only range. At least with respect to our health. Uh, which worries me a little bit. And we got greed in our final shop. Which is not an ideal circumstance. And again, now I'm going to take a lot of health. Or take a lot of damage, I should say. Uh, when I'm hitting enemies. So I'm going to use bombs just to get around that there. I really need to get back to full health in order to give myself further chances. Otherwise, it's very, very unlikely that I'm going to succeed here. And you know what? I probably should have stuck with Bloody Penny. Hindsight's always 20-20, but uh, Bloody Penny probably would have been a much better upgrade for me here. Remember, I can only use Blue Candle once per room. So I've got to be very cautious here. I think if I, you know, play smart... Oh, that was real bad. If I play smart, I should be able to uh, get back to full health at some point, but, you know, it, it, it's tricky. This is not easy. Killed a few more of those guys, which is good. But, you know, I really don't want to be close to these guys when they fire their bombs, but I have to be close to do damage, which is creating kind of a dichotomy here. Please tell me I found pills. I was hoping that would be full health. It's probably unlikely at this point, though. Um, we're definitely going to use Blue Candle. I wanted to use it at basically exactly that moment. This is a tough one, too, because these um, there's bomb flies that get created. Uh, luckily, we have a decent number of bombs. We're taking more damage. Uh, we have the ladder, I guess. I shouldn't have used Blue Candle so soon, I think. So I'm going to run into those enemies, place some bombs down. We might actually die in like two minutes here. I'm using way more bombs than I want to to, to make progress. 
And we're going to have to use more to kill the bomb flies, sadly. So I would love to get into bomb fly territory as soon as possible. Um, you know, okay, so let's, let's plan accordingly. We want to bomb up here. Please drop at least some health on this room. That's all I ask. These guys are pretty much in sync. So I think a bomb, uh, like, here right now is going to be good. God damn it. Okay, we need to use one more. This one should do it as well. That was fairly good timing. We got literally zero health, and things are coming off the rails quickly here. We can let the we can be creative and let the green bombs just take care of things. It's amazing that you know the big problem that I, I the big mistake I made on this run was probably picking up a health upgrade. Oh, we got a spirit heart now as a result of uh, scapular. So much for me hating scapular. It's ended up actually doing us a, a big favor there. Most of the time, not that useful, but in this situation come through in the clutch a little bit and we're safe now bloody penny definitely would have been a solid uh, take as opposed to Samson's lock especially considering I already had rage this is an interesting situation too uh, obviously I don't want Chubb to hit me but I have to get real close to him and we're like we have like exactly the same speed so I'm, I'm riding the lightning here there we go that ended up working out surprisingly well Come at me, bro. Okay. Please give me some health at some point. It's kind of amazing that I'm still alive. I'm not saying I'm a, an amazing player. All I'm saying here is that I, I'm... Oh, well, there goes the spear. Oh, we got another spirit heart back, though. Are we, like, permanently invincible as a result of scapular now? If I just refuse to take HP upgrades, I don't know if we can be killed. Because every time I get hit, it's going to give me another spirit heart, right? Maybe I've gamed the system. Maybe scapular is indeed the best item in the entire game. No, I've definitely lost runs with scapular. It seems silly that it would give you a ton of HP, or it can make you invincible, I should say. We might as well check for, I don't know, maybe something like the 1-Up down here. Uh, like a fairy in a bottle, if you will, if we're going still to maintain the Zelda logic here. I don't want to use too many bombs, because I might need them in combat. So using these to find the secret room uh, might be more damaging than initially thought. There we go, we made it out of this room. I do need to kill these flies, because that could contain hearts, and it does. That might actually be a detriment, as mentioned. Uh, this guy should just kill himself, I think. Oh! That was a silly mistake on my part. Now we're low. One more hit won't kill us. Unless it's a hit from the blue spikes, in which case it will kill us. So I'm trying to get close, but not too close. Because if he fires, I've got to be able to get out of the way quickly. There we go. I, I, the thing is, I also can't really make Meat Boy fire. Because Meat Boy, I believe, only fires when we fire the knife. We're definitely going to play uh, this to get some spirit hearts, please. Cursed Skull. <gasps> I can't believe that's just what... <sighs> In any case, I really like that run suggestion. I think I just need to do it again and rework my strategy. Because taking lard was the you know straw that broke the camel's back, actually. It was just like one big straw. It was like the, the straw... It was a heavy piece of straw. In any case... <laughs> Again, thank you to Sean or LP for that suggestion. That gasp was the true sound of human horror turned into .wav format. But in any case, continue suggesting your challenge runs. I sincerely apologize for failing that one in the worst way possible. But in any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.